Coming up on First at Four, local schools are being proactive rather than reactive. The latest technology installed to keep students safe. Plus, Hamas says it's agreeing to a ceasefire deal. What the Biden administration is saying as Israel considers its response. Plus, strong to severe storms are possible for midweek. Those details on the way as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, Harlan County school officials are working to be proactive, ensuring the safety for staff and students. WYMT's RJ Johnson has more about a new safety measure. Officials with Harlan County Schools have installed a new safety measure, making it more difficult for people to bring in weapons inside the school. Metal detectors can be found at several entrances around the school, and when entering the building, students will walk through the scanner. The system scans for heavy metals found in weapons. School District Chief of Police Matt Cope says there is not a delay when entering the school. It's very, very quick process, and they're, they're already learning the things that may trigger that, uh, like the big three ring binders or something, just because of the amount of metal that has in it or something. They're already just taking those out so that they're not having to, to get uh, the detector go off when it goes through. Uh, so it's, it's not really a delay, hardly at all, for, for them to come in. Cope says it's more important to be proactive rather than reactive. Coming up tonight at 6, I'll have more on how this new safety measure impacts students from a student's perspective. But for now, in Harlan County, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. Matt Cope says they were approved to purchase the new equipment by the school board. Kentucky Secretary of State has been selected as the next recipient of the 2024 Profile in Courage Award. The award from the John F. Kennedy Library Foundation recognizes public servants who risk their careers by putting the public interest ahead of their own political standing. Michael Adams is being recognized for his defense of fair elections and his work to expand voting rights despite political and personal threats. Past winners of the award include former Presidents George H.W. Bush and Barack Obama. We are tracking some heavier showers and a few thunderstorms as we go into your Monday afternoon. Let's go to first alert pinpoint Doppler. Now we are not tracking any severe weather. The severe weather threat looks to stay to our west today, but we could see possibly a few strong to severe storms by tomorrow. Also on Wednesday right now, though, watching out for a few heavier downpours as we push into parts of Johnson County close to downtown Paintsville, a heavier thunderstorm close to Paintsville at this hour. Also tracking some more light to moderate showers pushing through Wayne County. Also towards parts of McCreary and to Whitley counties as well. Again, nothing severe, but some heavier downpours just to the north of Manchester, close to Burning Springs over in Clay County. Also not too far away from downtown London at this hour. Those current temperatures are mild in the middle to upper 70s and lower 70s as well, up to 77 for Jackson. Also in London and Somerset, 79 for Manchester and 71 over in Pikeville at this hour. A very significant threat of severe weather to our west today. A level five out of five high risk of severe weather for parts of Oklahoma, also Kansas. Now in our neck of the woods, we are tracking the potential for a few strong storms tomorrow. Nothing in the same ballpark as that threat, but a level two slight risk of severe weather is in place on Tuesday. A level two to level three risk on Wednesday. More details on that severe weather chance coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Thousands of Kentucky Derby race goers are heading home today. Take a look at the crowds this morning at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Airport officials predict about 10,000 people will travel through the airport today. About 18,000 were estimated to have left yesterday. The 150th Kentucky Derby shattered some big records. If you placed a bet for this year's Derby, you helped set one new record. $210.7 million was wagered on the big race. That beat out the previous record set last year by about $20 million. Overall betting on the day came in at $320.5 million, beating last year's record of $288.7 million. It was also a record week for wagers. If you thought the photo finish was particularly close, you're right. This was the tightest race since 1947, according to Churchill Downs. 
It was also the first race decided by a body part rather than length in 25 years. There have only been 10 races decided by a nose in the 150 year history. There's word this afternoon Hamas is ready to accept a proposal to halt the fighting with Israel, just as Israel is readying a ground invasion of the last Hamas stronghold in Gaza. The Biden administration is not elaborating on what's in the deal, but says it's all being discussed. CBS's Skylar Henry has the latest from the White House. Hamas officials issued a statement Monday announcing they had accepted a ceasefire proposal. Israel has not yet signaled whether it will agree to the plan. Because we are still reviewing the response that has come in and because we are working on this in real time and trying to reach an agreement, I'm just going to decline to comment on detail. This comes as Israel's military has told as many as 100,000 Palestinian civilians in the southern Gaza city of Rafah to get to an extended safety zone before the Israeli army moves in with, quote, extreme force. The purpose of the action in uh, Rafah is to destroy the last four battalions of uh, Hamas in Rafah. We cannot leave them there. The U.S. has objected to the invasion of Rafah out of concern for the more than one million Palestinians who fled to the city from other parts of Gaza. President Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Monday morning. The president was very direct and consistently so this morning that we don't want to see major ground operations in Rafah that put these people at greater risk. Biden met with Jordan's King Abdullah II at the White House Monday afternoon to discuss how to get more humanitarian aid into Gaza. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Columbia University announced today it is canceling its main spring graduation. The decision comes after weeks of protests at the school with pro-Palestinian demonstrators calling for the university to divest from Israel. Columbia will instead hold school level ceremonies during the next two weeks. The student newspaper partnered with New York Magazine to show an inside perspective of the protests and the university's response. And we've spoken to these students who said that the risk that was on the line for them when it came to arrest, suspension, and now expulsion being on the line um, is very severe and very significant. And it was sort of despite that, mm -hmm. I am participating because in their sort of their belief, it's like if the people in Gaza are experiencing this, I can kind of go through this discomfort or this even uh, mm -hmm. challenge. Last week, the University of Southern California also canceled its commencement and instead will hold an event at the L.A. Coliseum. For many of these students, this will be their second missed graduation after COVID-19 canceled high school ceremonies in 2020. Coming up on First at Four, a day of fun for everyone is coming to Pikeville. We'll have the details on the upcoming Funapalooza event. Plus, an active week of weather is ahead. Your first alert forecast after this break.